Hi, I'm Ransom Stevens, author of The God Patent. Our question today is, what is antimatter? Well, antimatter is reasonably straightforward. Conceptually, to get antimatter from matter, all we have to do is reverse the charge. So, for example, a negatively charged electron has an antimatter equivalent called the positron, which has positive charge. The electron and the positron are identical in every other way. They have the exact same mass, spin, and so forth. Now it gets a little bit more complicated because there are four forces in nature. There is also the weak nuclear force. That charge is weak isospin, and we have to reverse that too. There's also my favorite of the four forces of nature, the strong nuclear force. Now, it's my favorite because it's kind of weird, where electric charges only come in one flavor, minus, and its opposite. Plus, there are three different strong nuclear charges that are called colors for red, green, and blue. Now, if I want to make an antimatter quark from a quark, what I have to do is reverse its electric charge, reverse its weak isospin, and reverse its color charge. So where I might have a red quark, I would then get an anti-red anti-quark. Well, you say, what is the charge of gravity? It must be mass, right? Because masses attract. And if we have anti-charges, then we must have anti-mass. And if there's anti-mass, there must be anti-gravity. But no, it doesn't work that way because, well, technical reasons, gravity is a tensor force. So what we expect is that a matter grapefruit will attract an antimatter grapefruit gravitationally the same way as if they were both matter, or if they were both antimatter. No difference, no anti-gravity. There is another subtlety, and that is, if you ask the garden variety guy on the street if there's an antimatter grapefruit and a matter grapefruit, they'll annihilate, right? Form pure energy. But only if they overlap, only if they find each other. And since the grapefruit, whether matter or antimatter, is neutral, it's not attracting anything except through the very weak gravitational force. So they might not find each other. Thanks for your questions. Send me your question right here at Facebook, at YouTube. Send me an email, ransom at ransomstevens.com. Thank you.